All right, today I want to do a review. It's uh, the El Pal. Uh, it's a thermometer. This is a no contact infrared body thermometer. This is pretty cool. You know, with the COVID and that gone around, thought, hey, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have one of these so you can monitor your your body temperature, make sure that you're not running a fever or anything. That'd be maybe the first sign that maybe you've picked up something. So we got one of these. Let's uh, tell you a little bit about the uh, thing. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better here. Anyways, this is a accurate reading in a one second, a uh, no contact. Um, it's a safety measurement, so you don't have to touch nobody or nothing. Two mode body and surface. So this will actually, I tried this on the refrigerator. You can actually see what the temperature of your refrigerator is. That's pretty cool. It has up to 50 readings can be stored intelligent fever alarms so you know it's a pretty neat we've messed around this a little bit here but i wanted to share it with you show you a little bit about the uh, i don't know if you call it low pow or l pow however you pronounce it but we're going to do a little review on it today all right we're going to take it out of the box here that's just the way it came we got this from amazon we'll leave a link to the amazon all right we're going to open the box here pretty much typical packaging of most items you get it comes with some instructions tells you a little bit about setting it all up which is really pretty simple you can activate your warranty and then here's the user manual to it so you can look through the mute mu i can't even say that right so you can look through the user manual and check up a little more info about it because it does remember some stuff. Here's the unit itself. It's kind of in one of these uh, plastic things here. So there it is. This is the thermometer itself. So readings on the back. It's got some film over top of it. We'll need to remove that. Pretty simple, just squeeze and check we're going to demonstrate that here in a second i'll show you a little bit more about it there so i think maybe we can take sue thermometer to sue's temperature see what it's at we'll check that out all right hey sue how would you like your thermometer uh, your temperature taken i always say thermometer you want your temperature taken sure how about you Lacey? do you want <laughs> yours taken all right i want to show you in order to turn this on all we have to do is this first button over at the top where my thumb is. I'll hit that. And you can see it came on and it says body. So in order to take the temperature, you have to get about an inch away and then you just squeeze the trigger. Now it said she has 97.1. So that don't look too bad. Let's try Lacey. Oh, she was low, and she hid. <laughs> she goes, I don't want my thermometer to take. Let's take Sue's one more time to double check it. So I'm, I'm going to get pretty close, but I have to touch her. You know, I'm about an inch or two away. Wait, I got to reset it here. All right, ready? Here we go. Now it says 94. I don't believe that's right. All right, we're going to... We're gonna try the body. I'm gonna get fairly close. Uh, they said about an inch. It says she's 98. I'm gonna hit it one more time here. There it says 96.7. All right, guys. So if you're using this for accuracy, and you know, say this crazy virus is going around, and you want a pretty accurate reading. Now we have tried many attempts and get different readings anywhere from a few points up to a whole degree difference now is this close enough to get a good 
thing to know maybe I picked up the virus or someone else might have the virus I don't know it doesn't seem like it because we've tried like I said many attempts and keep coming up with different uh, readings so I, I, I just think it's inaccurate hey guys I've got my thing I we've done all kinds of tests with thing we've went by instructions off and on I find I don't get an accurate reading with this uh, we've changed mine we paint sue and it keeps coming back a little bit different shouldn't this be accurate within the, i don't know how much but shouldn't it be accurate so at this point i'm going to say this product review of this thermometer is a failure because i keep getting all these odd different numbers and i've read instructions and tried this tried that and so i'm finding this what do they call that the low pow body temperature is not accurate that's my findings. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We had kind of fun doing it, you know, just checking this out and seeing if it's thought. I want to tell you the truth. And I just, at this point, I find it accurate. I don't believe I'm using it wrong because I've read it and read it and read it and tried it so many different times. So, hey, guys, if you enjoyed this, we had fun. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. Share it if you uh, uh if you know friends that want to try different things, maybe you want to check us out. So maybe they don't buy this, you know, I, Sue says we have to return it, <laughs> you know? So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys the next time. It was fun. All right. If you want to see how to get some of our other links, when you go to our main YouTube page, up here in the picture area right here, you'll see it says like Facebook. You can click on that. That'll take you right over to our Facebook group. And you're welcome. You can join the Facebook group, uh, add your videos, add uh, whatever you meant, do some discussion there. But you can go there. If you would like to uh, support us on the Amazon, again, up in this picture, you'll see a uh, link that says Amazon. Click on that link right there. Go ahead and sign in. Make all your purchases. And uh, what will happen here, you'll give us a tip. It uh, We get a small percentage back. Costs you absolutely nothing. Uh, but it does help us out, and we appreciate that. But I'd just show you a few little links here if you want to uh, uh, go to some of the other features we have here at Lucky Dog Productions.